guys welcome to my channel in this video we are going to see about how do we construct a very complex XML document using XML serializer so in this uh, video we are uh, taking a uh, UBL invoice as an example let's see what it contains so I have taken a UBL invoice 2.1 as an example and you could see what the information it has it has information about a uh, invoice period and contract document reference, additional document reference, and uh, accounting supplier party, and uh, accounting customer party. So you could see that uh, it has information about different parties involved in the transaction of an invoice, and uh, all those contact information and address information, all those stuff it's, it has, but it's really complex. You could see it goes for hundreds of lines and the structure it takes as a tree would be really complex and we need to use xml serializer to achieve the same uh, document structure this example has so what we can do is fairly simple i'm going to take a simple approach there are multiple approach possible but i will do something that's simple so you you have an example ready in your hand uh, what you could do is just copy this and keep it in the clipboard and come here and create a empty CS file first and since I have copied the example in the clipboard I could just paste it paste special and paste XML as classes so this would uh, give uh, automatically generate uh, classes for uh, that XML data so you would need not uh, worry about anything else so if you j could just uh, serialize this uh, invoice class uh, which is the root in the XML directory you would get the document as similar as this so in this example I have just done a very simple thing I have generated a C sharp class from XML data then I would be going and serializing it so for serializing it I have just uh, uh, used that uh, generated invoice class I have just filled ID and accounting supplier party party with a party name Samsung I am uh, trying to serialize this particular uh, object in this test.xml file and one other thing I did is in this example you could see that every element proceeds with CAC or CBC which is uh, I think common basic component or common aggregate component so every element is proceeding with a namespace or a namespace thing uh, here um, we define the namespace in invoice and we use that namespace information in every element normal uh, XML serialization we don't get this type of thing we would only get uh, the uh, element name and not the uh, namespace name for uh, to get this namespace also we need to add uh, the particular uh, namespace here so we need to add a CBC and uh, that uh, namespace string here and CC and uh, that namespace string here so when we do that and when we serialize this we would get uh, the exact document as we seen it seen in the example that was downloaded from the internet so let me launch this it doesn't have anything else it's just a button so let's click this button it will go to serialize and so yeah no errors in this case and uh, you could see that uh, test.xml is regenerated so this is the end output we would get uh, if you could see that uh, it also resembles as similar as the original document we have here so if you could uh, fill in all the details in that particular uh, invoice class you would get a similar structure as it is in the example document uh, 
typically this is used to ubl is used for a uh, e invoice generation and uh, you would have a very complex ui where to fill in the data uh, maybe like uh, let's see something else you can see that uh, yeah we will fill in multiple details in multiple places and we got to extract the required information and put it in uh, the right uh, put it in the right uh, place in the document uh, under the right uh, section uh, if you will uh, you, need, you need to create a complex ui collect the data put it in uh, the right place in this uh, invoice class uh, serialize it and get the output so uh, this what would uh, you get is you would get uh, xml document that uh, resembles the original uh, x um, you what you would get is you would get a document that would uh, resemble the xml document you originally set out to create so in this video you have seen how to convert uh, xml uh, example document uh, to c sharp class and uh, how to add uh, namespace to while uh, ex using xml serialization so that uh, every element uh, uh, has a namespace prefix attached to it uh, and this is how you would uh, generate any xml uh, document through c sharp so if you have an ui and you get the data out of it and you fill in the generated uh, invoice class it would be a really complete application but in this is a short video on how to do this so if you like this video please subscribe to this channel for future videos thank you